What's up, party people? What is up? You are listening to DFW Real Estate Weekly, and there is a lot going on in DFW Real Estate. We're going to get into it today. It is 2024. It is cold and wet, but believe it or not, we are already thinking, planning, and talking about the spring real estate market. We'll get into it. We'll talk about what's happening on the ground in DFW Real Estate right now, what's happening with interest rates, what buyers and sellers are doing, but also what folks are doing in regard to simply enjoying the homes that we've already got, whether we own or rent. If you've got questions, you know what to do. Call or text 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008 or online at toddtremonteteam.com. Anytime, day or night from any device you've got, that's toddtremonteteam.com. If you forget it, just Google Todd Tremonte. You will find us. You can check out over 700 reviews. You can find out if you're ready to buy or sell, what your property's worth, what your current home equity is. You can track those things over the long haul, all at toddtremonteteam.com. Now, if you have not taken advantage of a 2024 strategy session, they're completely free. We can sit down with you in person, buy you a cup of coffee or a Coke or a water, or we can jump on a Zoom if we need to and make sure that your 2024 real estate goals uh, are locked and loaded, meaning that you have a clear path, a clear strategy, all the information you need to be successful this year. We can help you with that as well. Just call or text. You can text the word strategy to 214-310-0008. Is it true that this is a great time to buy and sell a home? And if so, why is it true? We'll answer that today. But before that, let me tell you about Patrick Leros and his team at Cardinal Financial. If you are looking to get a mortgage, if you are looking to refinance, maybe you're wanting an investment property, a great place to start is to go to patrickglaros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickglaros.com. You can start an application right there on his website. You can give him a call at 972-728-3420, NMLS number 308804. And as always, you can go to com. You can click the radio tab and you can find all of our recommended pros and vendors right there. Hey, before we get into what you just said, you mentioned about strategy sessions. We've had some people asking us, like, what's up with them? Like, what is the goal? What what what's the point of doing it? Um, what are some goals that people have in twenty twenty four? Let me give you a couple of examples of of people that would really benefit and are really benefiting from these strategy sessions. You might say, you know, we've been saving, rates have been really high, we want to buy or we want to sell and buy but we are just not sure if now is the right time. That is a great reason to request a free strategy session. Just text 214-310-0008, just text the word strategy. Now, here's what that might look like. The best case scenario is you come into one of our offices, you meet a full-time professional agent on the team and maybe some other team members. You get backstage pass to the MLS, the database where agents and brokers only can see what's available, what's sold for how much, how long it was on the market, how long it took, what which pricing was right and not right. But we can also give you our detailed forecast of the 2024 market, what we think will happen with values, what we think will happen with rates, what we think is gonna happen with inventory, and specifically in the areas that you want to sell or buy. That would be a great reason to take advantage of a strategy session is to say, look, we'd like to sell and buy. Is it the right time? When should we do that? When should we get started? Do we need to do any repairs? You know, what's the better place for us to buy with these criteria, that kind of thing. Another great reason for a strategy session is if you said, look, we've been setting some money aside. We'd like to invest in some real estate, but we don't really know if that would be best done with a rental or a flip or a short-term rental, would that be best done in this part of town or that part of town or out of town? That would be a great reason to do a free strategy session. Uh, another one would be, look, we've never owned a home. We are ready to buy our first home. We are tired of throwing money away on rent, but we wanna be very smart about how we use those resources. Where should we go? When should we go? That kind of thing. So any of those and many, many other ideas, maybe even I'm not buying or selling anything, but we're thinking about remodeling the kitchen. We'd like to get some tips and advice on that. We're happy to add value for you, even if you're not buying or selling anything. So call or text 214-310-0008. You can just text the word strategy if you want, and we'll get back to you to schedule one. 214-310-0008 for a free strategy session to discuss and get clarity around any real estate goals you have for this year or beyond, and there's no cost and there's no obligation required. 
What are your thoughts on short-term rentals right now? On purchasing and owning short-term rentals? Because it feels like they had a massive moment in 2020, 2021, right? Yeah. And then it feels like a lot of cities and places began to try and put more restrictions on them. So, like, <laughs> are, they, are they still, like, a, a strong idea to go for? Yeah, I still think they are a great investment category. I definitely think, and we talked about this a lot on the radio show early 2023, that, hey, the just pick one and turn it into a short term and make a ton of money, that opportunity, which never truly existed, but obviously it was a lot easier when it was kind of the new popular craze and when there were no restrictions and no taxes and no fees, it was highly profitable and those things. Um, it is a more thoughtful, technical game now, but it's still a very good idea. Now, by the way, Short-term rentals is not a new thing. The craze was new, but you know, you know, you would you could go rent a beach house or a condo at the beach 100 years ago. That's not a new idea. The newer idea is like re regular everyday people could go buy a house at the beach and do it through an app on their phone. Or they could buy a house in their neighborhood. That's what was more new is that somebody would even want that that the hotel now had competition. The motel now had competition. You know, the event venue now had competition. Let's go rent a house with 12 bedrooms in it for a baseball tournament instead of just going to a hotel. You know, if I'm in town for business, I'm going to go stay in a house instead of a hotel. That was new. Those things are all still very real and viable. They're not as simple uh, and they're not quite as profitable with some of the fees and restrictions and things. But no, I definitely think... It's still a very real investment category, but it requires more thought and expertise and professional help than probably ever before. Um, okay, so you mentioned at the very beginning of the show about buying and selling homes. Like, how do people go about trying to do both sides of that yeah. during the same kind of transactional period? Yep. Is there anything like any tips people need to understand, any dangers they need to know about? Like, what, what all has to really go into that? Yeah, there are a lot of tips and a lot of dangers. So if that's what you want to do this year, I strongly advise that you register for a free strategy session. Um, let me give you a couple. One tip is to slow down before you speed up, which means meet with a professional or multiple professionals that are going to help you with the selling and buying and make sure that that is a connected strategy as opposed to, I'm buying over here and I'm selling over here. And they're two totally separate transactions. That is not wise. They need to be tied together. There are dates that need to work together. There are funds usually that need to be moved from one transaction to the other. And oftentimes there's information that's needed. And it's not always obvious. You would think I need to know how much I can sell for to know how much I can buy for. But you also need to know when and where you're buying to dictate when you want to close and fund on what you're selling. So there's a lot of connectivity there. The way our team at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team does that is you actually have a full-time, fully dedicated professional to represent you on the selling side and a different full-time professional to represent you on the buying side. Those two professionals are working together, picture kind of like a legal team, so that you have two sets of eyes and ears and two brains and you know more team members behind that to help you on both the buying and the selling time. So you have a out front dedicated specialist fully focused on each one, working together with a team of staff and other agents and you and anyone involved in your purchase and sale. So you really have like this full on professional team, but you do have a dedicated out front leader on each side who only specializes in that side. So you have massive expertise on each side and then you have collective collaboration and, and, and group benefits on the whole thing. We haven't found a model or an approach that offers better benefits to the client than that. And so that's why we do that. Um, but it, it's a huge win and it does require a little bit of planning. So you do need to start that process a little sooner than you otherwise might think you do to maximize your opportunity, have more options, make more money, spend less on the purchase, not have to move twice, have less drama and all those things. There's a ton more to it, but there's a few nuggets. A little birdie tells me that you might have a fun and exciting DP story. I appreciate that new nickname, you calling me Little Birdie. That's nope. so cute. Mm -mm. Um, I no had a great a exchange. I'll mute nope. you, sir, if you downplay the joy of the mm -mm. Little Birdie nickname. Nope. I appreciate that. Mm -mm. Okay. Nope. Mm -mm. 
Listen, you're the one that started the nickname. Courtney heard it. I told you a story. You said a little birdie told you a story. You were obviously talking about me. You now call me Little Birdie. I'm not saying it's my favorite nickname, but it's it's kind it's sweet that you came up with that nickname for me, Ian. Anyway, DP Lambert, dp.lambert at goosehead.com. That's really what you need to do is just shove that in your phone. And when you have insurance needs, you just email dp.lambert at goosehead.com. That's what I do. Now, often I actually text him as well, but I text DP this week and said, hey, we might buy a new vehicle. Uh, what do you think it's going to do to my insurance? Can you give me just kind of a run through? He's like, yeah, just shoot me a VIN number, even if you haven't bought it yet. And I'll give you the exact information you want, which is again, as it always is with DP, so simple, super responsive. And then by the way, while I was, um, texting with him, he said, Oh, Hey, by the way, thanks for all you do. Uh, I had someone call me who heard me on the radio this week and we saved him 1200 bucks. He said um, he bought a new build last year and his rate jumped over $1,000 when his renewal came up. Uh, so we evaluated it for him. He called me because he listens to your show. We evaluated it for him. We saved him 1200 bucks. He's ecstatic uh, and he's super thankful for the show, but also, of course, DP. So um, his name is Dan, and you know we may reach out to Dan and see if we can get him on the show at some point soon. But way to go, Dan. You did what I do. Reached out to dp.lambert at goosehead.com. That's dplambert, dp.lambert at goosehead.com. DP can be your insurance guy for the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years, but you might need to change carriers or providers or coverage every year or two You'll have the same relationship, the same person advocating for you for years and years and years, but you'll always have the best coverage and the best price. That's dp.lambert at goosehead.com. All right, so interest rates have begun to come down. They've actually gone down a whole point. Yep. So one of the questions that we've been getting fairly often is, hey, should I should I go ahead and do a refinance now, right? Is now the best time to do it, or should I wait a little bit longer? So... We actually reached out to uh, to Patrick to talk about this with him, and I have an answer that I want to read to you from Patrick, and then Ooh, we can get. I your, haven't seen this. Then yet. we can get your thoughts. <laughs> I bet on it, I so. can predict it, but let's hear it from him first. Oh no, let's play that game. <laughs> well, I don't want to take too much time, but he's going to say there are some time restrictions on some loans, and if you can save over a point or more, that's probably a really wise choice. We do expect some further rate reductions, but anytime you can, in my personal opinion, anytime you can save half a point or more, it's worth at least considering. Doesn't mean you should always do that, but you should at least be thinking about it. What did he say? It all comes down to the overall closing cost that will be associated with getting it to that lower rate. It can make sense in a lot of cases, but if you have to pay a lot in discount points or closing costs to get to that 1% lower rate, it may not be beneficial yet. On the other hand, if someone can save 1% on their rate with reasonable closing costs, it can make a lot of sense when the payment savings is not out of whack with the upfront cost to get those savings. I use a cookie jar analogy. You can X amount, you can take X amount out of your cookie jar to get the monthly savings of Y, but if you took the monthly savings and added it back to the cookie jar, how long does it take you to refill it? As long as we can see ourselves still being in the home or in that particular loan within that time frame, it can be a good return on investment. All right, Courtney, did I say the same thing with different words? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm not bragging. I'm just saying I've talked to Patrick for the last 20 years. He's the expert. He knows infinitely more than me about mortgages and when and why you should do what you should do. But... That's why I trust him. He's reliable. He gives you an honest answer. He's not saying, refi now, everybody, refi now. He's saying, well, it could be beneficial for you, but you do need to factor in the cost of refinancing. So just because the rate is lower, let's make sure it's truly lower and you're not having to pay a bunch of fees to get it lower. And then let's just make sure that the money you're saving on your monthly payment is worth what you would have to pay at the time of refinancing to get that monthly savings. That's what he said. He used a cookie jar analogy. I think it's great to get multiple perspectives. I love having him on the show. Usually he gives you like the really technical answer of how the federal reserve and bond rates work. And then I'm like, uh, here's the normal way dudes and girls say, I want to save money. Can I save money? Okay. I'm going to do it. So that's what I think. Now, you and I, Courtney, have been having multiple conversations of how to save money on your mortgage all over the YouTubes. I mean, like most of the YouTubes. 
Um, so do you think this is a conversation we should talk about more, which is rates are coming down. People want to refinance. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it, I, I think, I mean, it's a genuine question to you, but I'm just saying, I think a lot of people are like, okay, rates are down. Does that, I have seven and three quarters. I think I could get six and three quarters. Should I go get that? Yeah. And it's a hard question to answer, right? Because you're like, well, is it going to be five and three quarters? Should I wait? Right. Well, and for me, I never knew that you, there were fees involved. Like mm -hmm. people just throw it around, like go fix your rate. Yeah. And so I think it is a fair conversation. It's an absolutely fair conversation. And it's never quite as simple to your point. It's like, well, I, I didn't, no one told me that. And that's where Patrick is forever and ever and ever an incredibly ethical and helpful mortgage lender. Cause he's like, well, hang tight. Now, of course that sounds great. Let's run all the numbers and see what basically what he was saying is where your break even point is. So you'll be making money every month. You'll be saving money every month after 22 months because these fees are going to cause it to not save you money for 22 months, you know, whatever the case is. Right. I just made that up, you know, but, but for X amount of months, the number of dollars are going to, the yeah. savings is going to be eaten up and the cost of refinancing and blah, blah, blah. The point is, I do think people should be asking this question. And I do think there's a, a, a pretty simple, but there's an analysis that needs to be done. My last point here is you cannot time the market. Nobody knows where home values are going to go and nobody knows where interest rates are going to go. Now we have great information to give us good, reliable indications and what I call a solid inference, like an educated guess, but nobody knows. And I don't care what anyone tells you on any radio show or any article or any blog or any YouTube channel or any Twitter feed or whatever. The fact is nobody knows. And because of that, we always say, if you and your family and your finances are ready most people in that situation should move forward. Uh, and we can talk more about that later. I mean, I remember we sat in a training, Courtney, and we were talking to you about all of this, like, cause you just, you had never heard about it. And I think that's what a lot of, a lot of listeners are, are doing the same thing, right? Like they just, they've never been told about this, never, never learned about it. So like in the simplest of terms, if it costs you a hundred, you know, if you, if it costs you $1,500 to refinance your home and you're going to save $150 a month. Well, that first 10 months, you're not actually technically saving any money, but on the 11th month, now you've just saved yourself 150 bucks. And what for every month for? after that. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's a very good, simple example. So thank you for all that. I appreciate you guys. The, the, the point I think we're trying to make here is it's a great question to ask, but there's a little more to it. Not a ton more to it, but a little more to it. So I would just go to patrickglaros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickglaros.com or I'd reach out to them. Uh, uh, you can contact them any way you want. PatrickGlares.com give you all the information. You can also use a calculator on the website and figure all the, some of the basic math out on your own. But uh, it's a great question. I think many, many, many of us are waiting to kind of find the sweet spot of the right time to get a lower rate or get out of a mortgage or get into a mortgage, whatever the case is. And now's a great time to be asking that question. All right, as of right now, this coming Sunday, Monday, like tomorrow, and Monday, mm -hmm. we're looking at single digit lows, like seven, eight, nine degrees. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things people need to do today to make sure that they're winterizing their home? Because these are the lowest temperatures that we've had this season. Yeah. Everybody's just panicking that we're back to a few years ago when we're going to be Green Bay, Wisconsin for a week. I don't want to give you bad news, but if you haven't done these things yet, this is your singular number one priority today. And that is winterize the outside hose bibs or faucets on your house. You don't want a hose attached to any of those. You want those detached and you want to wrap it ideally with a winterizing cap, which is like a styrofoam cap, or they have these Velcro socks that you just kind of stick it over the faucet and Velcro it tight. If you don't have any we of have that, those like super padded ones yeah. that go on there and then you Those are on. great. But if you haven't done that yet, depending on where you live last night already might have been a bit can of a problem. I, yeah. Can I just use a towel? So that's where I was going to go. If you haven't done that yet, stores are usually selling out by now or it's already too miserable to go out. So, yes, you can use a sock or a towel and duct tape. By the way, uh, a couple years ago, everything was sold out a week ahead of time. We went and got Whataburger cups, the big styrofoam cups, and shoved those full of small hand towels. 
wrapped the towel really tightly, taped that, put the styrofoam cup over it, taped that to the wall. Wrap, you know, it was super like sketchy looking, but it did the same thing. It's multiple layers of insulation so that the outside temps don't flow into that pipe, cause the water to expand, crack the pipe, and then create a really big problem. Uh, I had a PVC outside hose deal that I forgot because it's a little further back on our lot and that exploded and sprayed water everywhere. And it looked, my girls loved it. It looked like a crystal palace because it rained so much water down. And I learned a lesson I already knew to take the stinking hose off the faucet. I did all the ones on the house. I forgot about the one back by the greenhouse. But the point is, detach all that, cover those things. If you're worried that what parts of your house are a little bit cooler than others, in those areas, any place you have plumbing, you want to give heat access to the pipe. So example, open the cabinetry under the sinks and just let the warm air in your house fill that area. It, most of those are on exterior walls, so they're going to be close to the colder air. Give it as much heat as you can. If you happen to have plumbing someplace that's not heated and cooled, you might plug an electric space heater into that area. Uh, if you're leaving the house for a while, you might let your faucets drip a little bit. There's mixed opinions on that. Uh, but those are a few of the quick, easy ones. You don't need heat to comfortable levels. You don't need 68 or 70 degrees in these areas. You need like 40 or above. So it doesn't get to freezing. So you don't have to like spend a fortune to do this necessarily, but you'll be glad you did and really unhappy that you didn't take some $10 solutions to save you from thousand dollar plumbing fixes. Yeah, I had uh, Rodney and his crew come out this week just to make sure that everything was good on my heating. It was playing up a little bit. So we had Rodney Reinhardt's team come out and um, came in, checked everything out. They said, everything's good. We cleaned up a few things for you, but you're going to be just fine. No worries. And uh, they did a great job. Yeah, Reinhardt Service Company. You can find their information at toddtramaniteam.com. Just click on the radio tab. You can see a bunch of the pros that we regularly work with and our clients love. That's toddtramaniteam.com. For anything you need related to real estate, if you're buying or selling or you want to set up a strategy session for 2024 or you want to reach out to one of the pros that we use and our clients love, that's toddtramaniteam.com. What's up, folks? I am Todd Tremonti, but it's not just me here. We got a full studio, the Yanni Donnie, the English Wonder, Full Price Courtney, ready to rock. Taking your questions about DFW real estate, 214-310-0008 all day, every day. We operate the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, and we are here to add value to your life in and around your real estate. Of course, if you're buying or selling, you got to give us a call, 214-310-0008. But if you're not, if you're a year out or three years out or five years out or thinking about investing or not so sure how to sell or any of those things, you should take advantage of free strategy sessions. We offer them to just about anybody that we can offer some value to, whether you're buying or selling or not. All you got to do is call or text 214-310-0008. You can just text the word strategy. 214-310-0008. DFW Real Estate, traditionally one of the best markets in all of the world. Weathering storms, maintaining property value, offering opportunity. Drum roll, please. I have a new 2024 announcement for DFW Real Estate. Here we go. 2024 is going to be good too. There it is. There's my announcement. DFW is going to continue to weather the economic storms, maintain its property value as well or better than any other market and be a great opportunity to invest. Now, was that new news? I mean, it's new for today's show. It's new for today. I hope I'm making this point well. That's the way it is. Mm. Awkward silence. Okay. <laughs> right? Now, the reason I do that is because we could play the game that all the other media sources play and give you an outlandish headline to get your attention, or we could just tell you the truth. DFW tends to, there's, there can be exceptions to anything, tends to be one of, I'd say one of the five most stable, logical real estate markets in certainly North America, by all means the United States and probably the whole world. All of that to say is, you know, you can get fearful because somebody says the economy is going to crash, the market's going to crash, there's going to be a recession, or you can get wildly drunken on optimism that, you know, values are going to go through the roof or pessimism and the values are going to go through the roof and you'll never afford a house again and all these things. The reality is DFW is pretty predictable. 
right? We have a lot of land. We have room to grow. We have jobs. We have hospitals. We have sports. We got a lot of things that a lot of people want when they think about a place to live. Businesses, individuals, all the above. For those reasons, DFW is going to continue to trend towards stability and upward growth. Those things are just true. Does that mean we couldn't have a down year or two? No, it does not mean that. Does it mean we couldn't have an another post-COVID-like bonanza? No, it doesn't mean that either. But it generally means it's a good, solid, safe place to buy a home, own a home, and sell a home. Are there better times and worse times? Of course there are. Are people historically successful at predicting those? No, they are not. My point is simply this. In the year 2024 or beyond, if you are wanting to own a home in DFW, I think you should go ahead and do that. I think you should not worry about timing the market. I think generally speaking, values are going to keep going up for the rest of your life. If you are old enough to be able to understand what I'm saying, generally speaking, for the rest of your life, property values in DFW are going to steadily go up. There will be times where they rapidly go up and probably some very short-lived periods where we might lose a little bit of value. Right now, 2024, maybe not the best time in all of history, but a very good time to sell a home. You would probably sell your home for the highest price your home has ever been sold for in DFW if you sold right now. And if you bought, you're probably buying at a price that's one of the cheapest prices you'll ever be able to buy for in the rest of your life. Those things are generally true for just about every area in DFW right now. And because of that, if you are financially ready and your life is ready to buy and or sell, I really believe the best advice I can give you is to do that now. Now, if there's a social, family, financial reason that you need to wait or should wait, of course, we would help you do that, encourage you to do that. But a lot of people have been waiting for most of 2022 and all of 2023, and I would encourage you, uh, if you're ready and you really want to do that, to go ahead and do it. We'll sort out some of the shifting, changing later. Now, I know there's a gr group listening right now that's like easy for you to say, jerk, I can't pay the price. I can't afford it. And for that, I'm not upset with you. I'm not ridiculing you. I understand that, but I don't think it's going to get any better, certainly anytime soon and potentially ever. You know, that's like moving to New York City and just saying, I'm mad that I can't buy the apartment I want in New York City. People have been saying that my entire life. Everyone knows that an apartment in New York City cost an absolute fortune. So you have to move outside of the city. That's beginning to happen in many parts of DFW. So if you want to do it now and you can do it now, even if you don't love all the details, I think you should. And we can help you do that. We can help you consider your options. Todd Tremonti team.com or call or text 214-310-0008. I will step down off of my soapbox and hand the mic to you, Ian. Hey, this next segment is brought to you by Patrick, Patrick Gleros and his team over at Cardinal Financial. Uh, if you want to go to his website, patrickgleros.com, you can start an application right there on his website if you're looking to get a mortgage. If you're looking to refinance, like we talked about earlier on in the show, maybe you're interested in getting an investment property or just have some questions for him. You can call him at 972-728-3420. You can go to his website, patrickgleros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickgleros.com, NMLS number 308804. And he's going to be really happy that he's sponsoring this next segment, Todd. Oh, A little boy. bit of a Middlesbrough minute for you, huh? Did you see what happened this week? I heard about it. And Pretty I'm amazing. jacked. Yeah. Pumped. Se semifinals. Psyched. Semifinal of the Carabao Cup. It's the second biggest cup competition in England. The one that Middlesbrough won in 2004 for our only... Uh, victory that we've ever won in any competition. Okay, for our predominantly American audience, yeah. second biggest soccer tournament in England. Uh, yeah, cup competition. No, I'm already lost. No, like the NBA this season had that in-season tournament, right? Well, that's been going on for centuries across in the, in the footy. world in England, yeah, and across the rest of the world. Um, and so this is used to be the League Cup. It's now sponsored, so it's called the Carabao Cup, which is an energy drink. So second biggest in-season tournament. It's still a big one. It's a big, big tournament, and uh, the winners get to go play in Europe uh, in the European and competition. Teams from all levels of... Of the four English professional leagues get to play in this competition. Okay, now Middlesbrough's in which one of those We're leagues? The second The tier. second one. Yep. And no. they played who? Chelsea. Oh, I've heard of them. Most people have mm -hmm. one of the big and powerhouses. And they're in which of the leagues? They're in the Premier League. Okay, so they're a league up. Yep. 
And normally they're like right around trying to win the title every year. Yeah, one They've of the best in the world. Got players that are worth more than our entire squad is worth. Okay, we've laid the groundwork. One. What? Chelsea nil. What? Great win. I would invite all of our listeners to tune in on Tuesday, the 23rd oh, of this month at 2 p.m. No, on the need, ESPN need, app. You can find the game. We need, a, we need a paid sponsorship to do that level of, of throw out there. <laughs> I don't know. Ian, uh, I won't say lives and dies because Jesus and his family do come first and second, I think. But Middlesbrough's up there. And so game days. Up the borough. And uh, up the borough. All right, folks, if you have real estate questions, 214-310-0008 or online at that's your money team dot com. All right. So in 2023, the, the, the news that we had in real estate, it was generally speaking bad. Mm-hmm. The NAR president stepped down. Mul- every, multiple. Every yeah. single week, we would keep telling folks, hey, it is a good time to get into the business. So as we are continuing to grow our team, as people are thinking about, hey, what, what do I want to do this year? Like, do I want to have a job change, a career change? Why, why would people want to get into the business right now okay very good question counterintuitive my answer is simple there is massive opportunity now if you are the kind of person that would get into residential real estate sales because nothing else is going for you that's not a great reason if you are the person that would want to get into residential real estate sales because you've heard that it is an easy way to make a lot of money with a super flexible schedule I would not encourage you to, to, to move forward. If, in fact, you want to be full-time and you recognize that residential real estate sales is a great opportunity to lead and guide and advocate for people and have massive positive impact on their personal and financial worlds, then that kind of attitude and that kind of approach can do very, very well. In a real estate market that is recovering from some stress and some anxiety, where the consumer is seeking professionalism and where a full-time dedicated pro can be a huge relief and solution to the consumer base and can get a, a massive proportion of market share and trust and clients and do very, very well. On our team, the Tatramani Home Selling Team, we're looking for four new team members Ideally, two in our Fort Worth office, just west of downtown Fort Worth, and two in our Richardson office, just west of Central Expressway in Richardson. Uh, In each location, we have an opportunity for those agents to end up specializing with buyers or sellers, just depending on giftedness and life stage and desire and natural fit. Uh, But we are looking for four brand new real estate agents, ideally people that are just getting their real estate license. Uh, want to get it very soon, or maybe have gotten their real estate license and have been in the business or had their license for less than 14 months. If that's you and you are interested in being full-time and having massive positive impact in people's lives, making a great living and doing this full-time for the long haul, you reach out to me right now, 214-310-0008. You can call or text 214-310-0008. Or of course, you can go to Todd Tremonti Team. Dot com. You can click on the team page or the join the team page. You can do a little research, watch some videos about us, get a feel for us, and then submit an application or shoot us a note or make a phone call. We'll connect with you however you like. That's toddtremonteteam.com. If you're thinking about getting in the business, I think it's a great time to get into the business. If you have a full-time expertise, serve the client, win big for your client, have massive impact and build massive income type of mentality. That's ToddTremontiTeam.com. Now, full price, Courtney's got the mic, folks. Take it away. Todd, we put up a survey on our socials. The Soch. Asking people if they dream of a home on land. I like it. Yeah, I was interested. And 75% of people responded that they were dreaming of a home on land. What? And we specialize in that. And so that's why we're always talking about it. And I just think it is so curious that people want that, that they dream of it. but Maybe they don't think that it's possible. Like, okay, this, this affirms one of my deep-seated assumptions. So let me talk about Keen Landscaping for a second, and we're going to get into this survey and what on. it means. What does it mean? What does it all mean? Hey, folks, speaking of homes on land or big backyards or yards or lots or landscaping or anything of the like, 
Keen Landscaping, K-E-A-N-E, KeenLandscaping.com. That's who you want. Uh, They are a proud sponsor of this show. We are in the Keen Landscaping Studios. They sponsor all sorts of other sports teams and big stuff around town. You've seen their green and yellow and black trucks driving around. They do a great job, whether you have residential needs or commercial needs, whether you need regular service or big installs. They've done new beds for me. They've done river rock, mulch, bushes, shrubs, landscape lighting, pathways, all of the above. Irrigation, they do it all. They even have a Texas trees division. So get your landscaping ready now so that you can really enjoy it in the spring, summer, and fall. This is the time you can afford to make a little mess, putting something new in or fixing something that hasn't been right for a while or upgrading that landscaping. It's keenlandscaping.com, K-E-A-N-E, keenlandscaping.com or 972-424-4851. Ask for Ben. Tell him Todd Tremonti sent you. Okay, the question or the comment was, you did an online social media survey and 75%, three quarters of all the people that responded said, yes, I do dream about having a house with a big backyard. I love it. That's I, that's, I always dreamt of that. If you've been to our YouTube channel and seen kind of my personal journey of the homes we've lived in and bought and flipped and built and the ones we live in and all that stuff, uh, you know, I knew when I was very young, I want some land. I want a big backyard. I don't want to live in a normal neighborhood. I want room to play and have my kids play and grow things and play and work and do all the stuff out there. And we have that. So I still dream about it and I've got it. I dream about all the things I can add and change and do and improve. So I love it. I have this internal voice that tells me I'm not alone. And your survey tells me I'm right. It's not for everybody, but lots of people would love to do it. The problem is, and we've talked about this on the show, that lots of people have an idea in their mind that to go from that dream to a reality would be a massive, difficult, insurmountable task. Now, it's also true that just because you dream about it doesn't mean it's your best bet. So it's not for everybody. But um, I'm encouraged by that survey and the response I'm excited by it. You know, we we can do all all kinds of residential real estate here at the Tajramani Home Selling Team. We primarily do two things. Of course, we can do others, but we primarily do the most desirable neighborhoods all across Dallas and Fort Worth and homes with big backyards. And you can define big backyard however you want. Usually it's the biggest lot in the neighborhood all the way up to like five to 10 acres. It's not full-time farm and ranch, but it's big backyard. You use it like a yard to play, do a little work, to get get out of the house, to you know play, cook, work outside. If that is you, you are not alone and there is a clear path to achieving that. All you've got to do is call or text us at 214-310-0008. Find us online at touchreminderteam.com or just Google my name and check out reviews from a bunch of other people that we've helped do this. We can start planning that whether you're two years out or you want to be in before school's out. We can help you make this a reality. Go to ToddTremonteTeam.com. We have a whole homes on land division within our team. Just had some sweet new t-shirts made. And uh, we will help you make that dream a reality, whether you're buying or selling, or anybody that you know that wants to buy, sell, or live on a home with a big backyard, you make sure they know us because we're thrilled to help them make that a reality. I think that it surprised me when you brought up an MLS search of lots with one to 10 acres in the DFW area. I was surprised at the availability. Yeah, and we did that within 30 minutes of either one of our offices, right? And our offices are Richardson Richardson. and West Fort Worth. So it's not like we did this in Mineral Wells, you know, although we help people out there. But you know what I mean? These are, there's even more than you saw. And it surprised you that there were thousands and thousands and thousands and that thousands of them change hands every year yeah i wouldn't have even think that i wouldn't have even thought that i had options in dfw right like for that so yeah and by the way you have options from like pretty much in town dallas all the way out to louisiana arkansas oklahoma new mexico gulf of mexico like in every direction Mm -hmm. from like the what i think are some of the coolest ones which are like man somehow they still have three acres in Lake Highlands. Yeah. How? Somehow someone has two acres in the River District in Fort Worth. Like, how is that still there? How did that not get chopped up into 10th acre lots, you know? Mm-hmm. 
I, I'm fascinated by that property type, but I also love the one that's got barbed wire fencing and all your neighbors have three acres, just like you. There are different property types for different people, but if you dream, if you fantasize, if you feel like, oh, it's too far out to ever achieve, but boy, wouldn't it be nice to have, you know, that big pie-shaped cul-de-sac lot that's three quarters of an acre and everybody else in the neighborhood's got a quarter of an acre. We are the people you want to be talking to about that. And we would love to help you achieve that dream. Everything from just buying or selling the house to creating the dream house, yard, storage, you know, recreational work environment that you dream of in your home. We truly love to help you do that. Go to TajramaniTeam.com. We got another question. Speaking of like a dream, a lot of people have a dream of having a large plot of land to share with their family. <laughs> and so like, how would you approach your search for land differently if you were building multiple houses on it to like live with your family or friends? Like, is this a good idea? I, I we have a lot of questions about this. Okay, I'm gonna uh, quick live read and we're gonna come back to that and I have questions for you, so be prepared. All right, PMR Roofing is who I use to put a brand new roof on my brand new house to put a brand new roof on my old house and who I have recommended to probably thousands, definitely hundreds of friends, family members, neighbors, and clients, not including all of our friends through radio and YouTube and social media. Like these, these are the people I trust. PMRroofing.com. Ask for Jordan Collins. You can call 214-957-0839 or go to pmrroofing.com. If you forget all that, just go to tajamoneyteam.com, click the radio tab and find PMR Roofing. These are the guys and girls that will look you in the eye, shake your hand, tell you what's true. They won't sell you more than you need, but if you need something, they'll get it done right the first time. They'll be here and in business next year and 20 years from now, and they'll do the right thing. pmrroofing.com. Now, here's my question for you, Courtney. Have you ever been hanging out with friends and someone said, y'all, let's just buy a big piece of land. We'll have a big compound. We'll have the pool. We'll have the basketball court. We'll do it all. It'll be amazing. I cannot tell you how many times yes. I have had this conversation with friends. But And me too. And I, I have certain friends that are more likely to have it. And so I bring it up with them more because we're like, why not? Like we all have these crazy, busy, separate lives. Let's do it together and simplify and now of course it would still be crazy and complicated and wild but i know people that do it and we have some very close friends that are in the process of probably doing it right now the answer to your question of how would you approach it differently is there is zoning requirements right so certain land can only have one primary residence per zoned or platted or surveyed property for example where i live you can only have one primary residence you can't even have a guest house which frustrates me in other areas, you could put 20 houses. In some areas, you could only put 20 units if it's a commercial business. In other areas, you can do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Those are city zoning, county, maybe deed restrictions, maybe HOA, lots of different things to consider. But that would be my most simple direct answer to you is I would start refining the land I want to buy or the existing property. Obviously, the first thing I would do is look for existing properties that already have three homes, four mm -hmm. homes, two homes and a barn, two homes and a barn and a pool and trails, you know, whatever it is that you want. The easiest thing to do is always find one that's already got it all. The hardest thing to do is to put it together piece by piece by piece, but that may be your preferred way to get it exactly the way you want. But I've never done that. I've never just bought exactly what I wanted. I've also never done 100% of everything from the ground up. So there's that you could do all, none, and or anything in the middle. But you would need to find the area that meets all your wants and needs and also allows for any future wants or needs. And that's going to narrow your land or location pretty quickly. And then it's going to make it e actually less options is easier for most people. If I have three things to pick from, I can usually make a pretty good choice. If I have 927 things to choose from, it's overwhelming and I probably don't make a choice at all. So that's the shortest answer I've got for you. But by the way, I love it. I encourage it. I believe that God designed us for a community. I believe we were made to connect and depend on each other. Uh, I think that's how societies and economies work. I think that's how, you know, clubs and groups and schools and teams and churches and businesses all work is, is that interdependent use of our gifts and our weaknesses together with a shared value and vision. 
in a, a, a family compound or a friend property sounds so cool. If we can help you buy or sell a home in a desirable neighborhood in DFW or on a big lot with a big backyard, man, that's what we do all day, every day, and we love to do it. Go to ToddTremontyTeam.com, call or text 214-310-0008. We'll set you up for a free strategy session, or we'll just get right into it if you're ready. 214-310-0008. Call or text 214-310-0008 or touchyourmoneyteam.com. And don't forget. Find out what your home would sell for right now in under a minute at touchyourmoneyteam.com.